tough trip to Morgantown. Hokies in the white, USC Upstate in the green. And Virginia Tech already starts it off with a shot up and popped out. Backing up, Levine passes, picked away. Amor sprints to the glass. Office, but Kenny Brooks' teams play good defense too. Force, force tough shots like West Virginia does, but yeah, the, the struggle is real when you're trying to put that many new faces together. Taylor Soul with a layup. Inside, Gordon works off the glass, and Upstate gets his first bucket. Really nice play by there by the. A sophomore for USC Upstate, Kayla King, right back in it for the Hokies. Swing it out to King, open three. Still tipped, and look at the effort from Greg. Kick back out to Amor. Trailer will try it this time. Bang! Trailer thought about it. She was wide open. Splits the defense. Pretty move for the Purdue transfer. Stop. Stop. And then blow back. We'll see if she re <laughs> Kitley wide open. Good. Any more to Kitley. How many times will you say that this year? A lot of chemistry between the two of them. They've been able to build in their years here. Hold on. Tough shot. Rebound. And Racy lays it up in it. Trailer. One on one for Kitley. And we've seen that move so many times over the past four years. And now Awusu, talk about dynamic players out on the floor for the Hokies. Play a little point guard with George Amor on the bench. Soul thought about the tray. Instead, gets the assist to Kitley. So much experience to an inexperienced team in upstate. Yeah, and like we said earlier, throw in the. She's been on the Puerto Rican national team also for several seasons. Awusu with the floater. Racy, almost another shot clock violation, but Seoul comes up with a steal before that. Feed into a Wusu, step back, good. You can tell in part she's the right-hander, while Jenny's the left-hander. And two of them fraternal twins, they got a whole committee here from Vinton, Virginia in attendance. Well, the Wusu's starting to heat up, see if she takes another shot. Instead, it'll be Kitley. Chase Missouri and Kentucky. Loose ball again, fed forward to Amor. To Racy, throws in. Suderblom in for USC Upstate. There's a three for Markham, the first one of the day for the Spartans. Comes Levine, stuffed by Guyman. Here comes Trailer in transition, right to the glass with the left hand. Virginia Tech down the floor to cut off the fast break. That was Georgia Amor from the elbow. That's great oh, offensive yeah. ball movement there, really unselfish for the Hokies. He steps back. Calls a set play. King wide open. Good. Different workouts and stuff like that. So I think it's a, it's a cool thing to see them support us and also to give it back and support them too. Now, now for you, coming back and playing a couple of games already, a big win against William and Mary. That's what it is for this part of the season. You know, each game we're trying to get better and better, and I think each game we've built off of something new. So I think it's been good to have these first three games and then go to Charleston. Nice move there by Taylor Soul. You see it all over Twitter. This is the biggest Virginia Tech team has been in a while. So I think with Lynn Kidd and Elijah Poti and um, – just also with Grant coming in as a transfer, I think uh, just our foot has gotten a lot bigger. Okay. I'm not in any order. <laughs> well, speaking of shooters, there was a cool shot last night where Darius shoveled the ball over to you. Last kind of outcome from last season and for to um, have that moment with the castle and everyone here, I thought it was pretty cool. Georgia Amor, she is so athletic. He's up by 40. Now you talk about a good pace. What do you think is good about this Virginia Tech women's team? I feel like they've really picked it up from last year on the defensive end. Like you see here, they've only allowed them to 11 points this game. Um, so I think that's really what's stepped up for them this year. The trailer trying to create some space again. Kicks it out. Amor. Good. 
you really have to collapse, and that leaves shoulders on the outside open. Y'all do some similar things, whether you shoot the threes in transition or after it goes inside, or the penetrate and kick it back out. Yeah, uh, I think there's a lot of similarities. And, uh, I'm excited to be in Charleston. I've heard I've never been there. I've heard good things about oh. it, um, but I'm excited to go there. It's a it's a great tournament. I've heard about yeah. growing up, so I'm excited to be there and compete and uh, go win the thing. I've never, growing up, I didn't have grits that much. Um, I've probably had it one or two times, so I can't really give a full opinion on it. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm usually a picky eater, but I'll be open to try stripping grits. Now four on the clock. Tough pass. Here comes Walker. Shot clock off. And the freshman makes a good scoop and move. Even with this gigantic rivalry, that is thrown out of the window on a day like today. And you think back and... 2007 when the University of Virginia was there for Virginia Tech after the awful events of April 16th. Ashley Owusu. Cross-court feed to Dunn. Australian to Australia. Nyla Walker looking for some space. A good bounce in. And Ford still able to get her hands up in an own basket. Battling hard, but she knocked it in. Something Upstate has struggled with for sure. Wusu. Won't be the last three she makes. She's no. got a nice touch. Here comes Ford crashing the boards, follows her own shot. Oh, Wusu has the one right now for Virginia Tech. Thought about the shot. Soul carries to the hoop and one. And for Virginia Tech. This is going to be a challenging gauntlet as well. Going to the Bahamas, taking on Kentucky and Missouri. In Tennessee, a game that the Hokies had a late lead in when that game was in Castle Coliseum last year. Yeah, that's a lot defensively for Virginia Tech. Hokies, with the addition of Ford, have a bit more depth down low. But last year, when Hitley was out, Greg was the de facto five. Rolling home for Upstate. Got a very bright future. Yeah, on a trailer. Ford coming in. What an effort with the left hand and off of the square. Step back at a long two. That defense is something to really be reckoned with with Virginia Tech. Another board. Masicki for three. Might get another chance here, at least at a two. Drives in, it's an offensive foul. Strong offensive second half, particularly the third quarter. Another picked off ball. Playing against Kentucky and Missouri next, but before that, can it be a bucket from Vesicki? Just lost the ball. And that is it for this one. A dominant victory for Virginia Tech.